Hello, I'm Mr. Knotts. Welcome to Not On My Boat. Marlon Spike Seamanship, and this is the art and science of knot tying, rigging, splicing, all of that. Feds, uh, these are the tools that we're going to be using to do all of this knot tying and rigging. One of your, after you get a good rigging knife, uh, the next fid you want to get is this one right here. It's got a lot of uses. Uh, one thing we can do is we can, we can put it through here. It creates a tunnel that we can uh, put our strands through, uh, whether you're doing Dyneema or braid on braid or three strand. This is a very useful knot. Uh, this is very effective on small stuff, and you can probably go up pretty easily up to half inch or maybe slightly larger line than half inch. Uh, it comes in two sizes. It comes in, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the other size. Start with getting this one. Don't get them both right away. Don't, don't get anything here until you know you need it. Uh, these, are, uh, these are wooden fids. Fids will come in plastic, metal, wood, uh, pretty much any uh, any any material. Uh, we use I use this one. I like this one a lot because I can use it as a wedge. I can use it as a lever, and so I can break knots open quite easily. And this is just a shorter version of that one right there. Uh, this is just an awl. You can get it at any good hardware store. Little Japanese fid. Uh, I like this little fid a lot. Uh, when I am uh, working on Turks heads, this is this is my go-to tool. I can I can pull those strands nice and tight in there. I found this little this little fid uh, for two bucks. I uh, I've never used it so, but it's in my rigging kit. It was cheap. These are pushers, and so this is this is the uh, Samson pushers. You can buy these fid kits. But what I would suggest, uh, don't buy a FID kit, but get the FIDs that you need because you may not be ever splicing anything that is going to take this FID. You may be only splicing something that will take these FIDs. And you can splice with a smaller FID. Smaller FIDs work better. You're going to have to have some sort of pusher. Now, the pusher fits in the back of the FID like this. Well, it won't fit in that one. Uh, it fits in the back of the fid like that, so it's not very deep. You put your line in there, jam, jam the pusher in there, and push it. So these are all pushers. Uh, here is another pusher where you tape your material to the end of this right here. This is Yale. Uh, this is Samson. This is Selma. Now, the thing I like about this Selma kit is you've got all your fids in here. Uh, everything in here from small up to pretty good size. Uh, you'll hook your material right here on this hook right here and push it through. So these are all, this is all pusher um, stuff. Uh, these are pullers. So you would hook your, you would put, you would insert this in the wrong direction. You'd insert this in the wrong direction. Uh, tighten this loop around what you want to pull back through there. And you would pull all that back through. Here is something I picked up at a hobby store, a fabric store, and this is a this is a gated hook. So you can push it through this way, the gate closes, and you can pull it back through this way. Uh, some some decorative knots have a, this is a great application. I found this in a uh, in a in a uh, uh, estate sale, and this was a this was a shoe button hooker. And uh, I, I saw, I, and I occasionally pick this up and use it. It's it's not for the it's not for rigging or splicing, but I can I still find this useful occasionally. This I found in a sporting goods store, and it has got an eye here, and it was used for uh, re uh, 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 repairing a baseball gloves, uh, pulling new leather through the holes, and I could see uh, lots of good applications, and so I use this occasionally. You can also use a, uh, some stiff wire. You can insert the stiff wire in the wrong direction. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then uh, hook your hook your strands right in there and then pull it back through. Here's a couple of other, I don't remember who these are. Uh, these might be Yale, I don't, I don't remember. But also you put your strands in there, pull them back through. Here is a rigging knife I got it at West Moraine 
and uh, you can see uh, it has got the same uh, uh, shackle uh, wrench here, shackle key, but also you can uh, insert this and pull strands through. So uh, this has got the combination there on the rigging knife. And these are two FIDs right here. Uh, these are two Marlin spikes. Now, Marlin spike is long and tapered, and um, and this is Meerschaum. Uh, this is nice, long, and tapered. This is very, very sturdy, very stout, stainless steel. And here is uh, here is a steel Marlin spike. And that now the Marlin spikes have got a long uh, taper, and it's a certain ratio. And this one has got a flat, um, a flat, a flattish uh, chisel uh, screwdriver tip on it. And, th and this is primarily for primarily used for wire. So if you got any questions on any of those tools, uh, let me know. Uh, this is Mr. Knotts, not on my boat.